we are about to start one more motivational English class and these classes are just in English. The teacher speaks English to practice your accurate listening comprehension. We talk about life, secrets of happiness, secrets of life, and at the same time, you practice listening. The most important is try to understand the idea. Don't worry if you understand or not one or two expressions. Try to get the idea. Don't translate. Just try to communicate. Today, we're going to talk about some paths, some sides, some works that you have to do, okay, in order to get more motivated. And the step number one is to get up. So, if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling down, if you see that something is missing, faltando in your life, this is the path number one because it's consciousness. When you get conscious that you need to get up. And a lot of people, before they get up, of course, they get sad first and say something needs to change in my life. And that's not people or the government or the place where you live, like you want to change cities or countries. The point is you, baby. It's time for you to get up. Get up for what? To change attitudes and habits that are taking you down. You have to get up to see what needs to change in order to put you up and this is wonderful because you're going to start paying attention on you and you're going to give your best to get up and this is unconscious when you are unconscious you don't know anything about life you just suffer and you don't know why you just live life and you don't question why and when you start making these questions when you become a seeker somebody that seeks procura o procurador you're going to discover answers to your questions and then you're going to start having Changes and this changes is day by day. It's not like super fast, suddenly, de repente. No, it's gonna take in a while to change habits because you were accustomed, you used to do something that you're gonna stop doing now. Why? Because it's making you suffer, and just because of this, you're gonna change. After you get up, the second path is to have reasons for your actions because if you don't have an objective, you don't even know why you get up. If you don't know why you're going to school, you don't want to go. If you don't know exactly why you are in university, you don't want to go to university. If you don't know exactly your mission in your job, you don't even want to work. So sometimes you don't even go out of your bed. You don't even want to have a shower or do something that motivates you. So the point is you must have a reason in order to act. You're not going to have actions if you don't have a reason. So the point is what's your dream? What's your objective? Where you want to be in one year, in two years, in three years, five years, six years or ten years? Long terms and short terms objectives because it's possible for me. It's going to be possible for you. It can be possible for any other person to change professions, to change houses, to change relationships. You can change as well as you're not doing well in that. You're not going well. You're not feeling good. You have a problem. You're suffering. You're going to change. And in order to change, what you got to do? First, you have to conscious about it. So that's to get up, right? Next, you're going to have a reason for your actions. And when you have a reason for your action, you're going to get motivation because that's motives, reasons to have the verbs, to do the checklist that you need, okay? So I'm going to get up early. I'm going to practice exercise. I'm going to do different cooking. I'm going to find a new boyfriend. I'm going to make this trip, whatever. You're going to do things because you want to be happy. There comes to step number three. After you get up, after you have reasons to know why you're taking the actions, you're going to start working in your patience. To be patient, com ter paciente, you have to work in your patience, com ser paciência. So the patience here is where it's going to lead you. Onde vai te levar? Where the patience is going to lead you. Now, if you have more than 35 years old, you know that patience is a lot necessary. Now, if you're less than 30, perhaps you don't know anything about it. You say you are an impatient person and that's it. People has to support me. And that's not the way it is, right? With patience, you go much further, muito mais longe, because you avoid discussions, you don't participate in bad conversation anymore, you know that it's not going to count on you with good energy, you avoid certain friends, you start cutting things that goes out of your sanity after your mental health, sua saúde mental, you start cutting it. So, because of this, you're going to have more patience to deal, lidar with people. You got to have patience when you have a traffic problem, babe. You're going to be impatient. Ha, 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 motherfucker. 
It's not the way we're going to solve problems, yeah? You have some problems in your house that you don't control, people that you don't control, or situations that you don't have any control about it, and you get nervous, oh, so poor. You're having problems in your mental health, and in the future, you're going to have physical problems, babe. You are acquiring a lot of these problems to you in the future. It's not something that's going to happen now. It's a long-term consequence. So pay attention to what you're doing to your life. You got to find patience. You have to work in your patience. Now or in the future, you're going to have to work on that. And patience is going to lead you to many other places. To have more friends, to endure people because everybody has bad habits. You're going to have better relationships because you understand the other person. And because impatient people are... Super sociable. People that don't know how to socialize with others. Of course, you must be patient. That's going to be problems, babe. Today, tomorrow, every day. You're going to be hard, strong enough to have patience and wait. Because some things need your weight to expect for things to get better. It's a process that you're going to evolve. It's a process where you're going to learn. And that's bad situations. They're not... I don't want that. Slam the door. Knock on the table. Come on. You're not a kid anymore. Yeah. Path number four is when you order and disorder. The idea here is you're cleaning because when you are in an order environment, meio ambiente, you are in order too. Now, if you live in disorder, I'm sorry, but this is a lot of suffering because you don't find things. You're always lost. You get nervous. You don't know where things are. And it's so beautiful to see in a clean closet, isn't it? It's so beautiful to see in a clean house. And it's not just clean. We're talking about order. And this is evolution. Order is evolution because when you put everything in order, it includes yourself. You are organizing yourself. You're organizing your personality. You know your bad habits. You know your good habits. Okay, I know about this. I'm going to keep this way and I know about that I'm gonna I'm gonna improve these good things and when you are ordering a drawer uma gaveta at the same time you are ordering yourself and including the order there goes the five points which is just cleaning when you clean the glass of a window when you're cleaning something in your house at the same time you're cleaning yourself you're cleaning friends people that don't make you good Something that's not making you in a good way or in a good style. You are suffering or you're losing time. You're spending too much time with this or that. You start cutting internet things. That's not going to lead you to anywhere. You don't use internet to study or do something good. You got to cut this. And this cutting includes cleaning. A lot of people say, ah, I don't like cleaning my house. But it's part of you to clean yourself. Yeah. And that's not just showering. It includes cleaning your personality habits too. Something that's gonna clean in order to prosper, in order to have money, in order to have more friends, in order to be happy. So there are things that are bad in my life, of course, and I do my best to cut as soon as I can do the cleaning every week. It's just like a shower, just like a bath. You gotta clean all the time. Now, if you don't have a clean house, if you're not ordering things in your house, that is the same with you. So be sure that you're not paying attention in you. And sometimes we don't want to see things that are dirty, yeah? So we just put under the rug. Colocamos embaixo do tapete, the dirty thing. Dirty is the opposite of clean, all right? Now, let's go to number six. After you understand yourself and get up for reality, start changing your habits, know the reasons for your motives. After you put your house in order and do the cleaning... It's going to appear evolution. And the first path for evolution is when you watch your material things and you see that you have 5,000 jackets and 600 fucking jeans and a lot of bijoux and earrings and bracelets. And for men, it's the same. Tennis shoes, how much do you have? How many tennis shoes it's necessary to live in this life? Time for you to think. I just have two. Now, you say, Grazella, are you so evoluted like this? No, I used to have 10,000 pairs of tennis shoes. I used to have 10 doors of closet. And they, that made me suffer a lot because I had to buy all the time. So when you have a material evolution, you're going to pay attention to the stores. So you go to the shopping mall and you say, wow, it's so beautiful, but I don't need 
That's the question. Wow, this dress is wonderful. It's not I need to buy. It's I don't need. And this is peace, baby. This is super peace because you don't need to buy that thing. Now, men are more evoluted than women in this action because they're not so consumist. Now, if you put on a paper everything that you spend in one year with souvenirs, gifts, presents, extra clothes and shoes and accessories that you're putting yourself, come on. This jacket, for example, I paid 39 reais. I will never pay 300 reais for a blouse or a jacket anymore in my life because I have experience. But that's something I want for myself. It can be different. That's what you want for yourself. But the idea is how many pairs of jeans do you need to survive? Time for you to think. And how many pairs do you have, babe? And you just see a new pair of jeans and you need to buy. And your cell phone is working well, tá funcionando. But you see one cell phone that you need to have. And there goes your credit card. This is slavery. Isso é uma escravidão. So, if you want to evolve, path number six is to have an evolution related to your material things. And I love to watch Netflix, the series that talk calls about disappropriating. Um, Desapegando, mas não é desapegando. Minimalism. The minimalism. It's just 50 minutes. It's one series in Netflix that you want to watch. Super millionaire people, they have just three glasses. Three glasses they have. And three plates. And three jackets, perhaps one jacket. And one tennis shoes. They live with one pair of jeans. They, they, they travel with one backpack. I find this wonderful. It's not hip, you know. It's a good style to live your life with gratitude. I'm not going to talk anymore about this, but think about this materialism evolution. If you do this in love or you're going to do in hate and suffering, okay? It's a choice. Next step is number seven. When you have less stress in your life. You want to have less stress in your life. So, we got to know that you're going to work in your patience. That's number, number one. You have to be a more patient person. Because if you're not, you're going to have stress in your life. So, you want to reduce the stress. You want to be less nervous. It's time for you to be controlling of your reactions. Because what you do is to react about life. You react about problem. You react about somebody that said something bad about you. You react to a bill account that comes to your house. Or anything. How do you react to things? Because that's the way you react. I can tell you if you are a happy, nervous or stressful person. And you can't be stressful, baby. Because in 10 years of stressfulness, you're going to have a heart attack. In the end of the life, you're not going to live enough to have grandchildren. Yeah. So the idea here is to avoid. Okay. Prevent yourself from situations that's going to put you into stress. And if you already know that person brings you stress... Why are you going to the party with her? And if you already know that situation brings you stress, what are you doing in this place already or yet? Ainda? Que está fazendo lá? If you know that that kind of work makes you feel depressed, why didn't you change so far? What are you waiting for? A tragedy to happen in your life in order for you to cut things. So, man, this is time for you to get up for real. In order to be happy, you need to know this. So the idea is you want to have less stress in life. Do you really want to have peace? You got to connect with yourself. Start a yoga meditation. Start a religion. I don't know. Start reading a new book that's going to bring you to this. Watch videos in YouTube about it. Find. Because if you look for, procurar, you're going to find, baby. Be sure about it, okay? Next is that if you want to be happy in life, you need to be kind to people. Some people say, teacher, you are super nervous. You are an angry person. I am angry. No, I'm, I'm a serious person. But I treat people in a kind way. I'm gentle. I have kindness. This is super education. Politeness. Politeness is not educated person. Educated person is in school. School don't educate people. We're talking about polite. To be polite, you got to say good morning, hello to people and smile at them. My neighbor, for example, he's rebuilding his apartment in this moment. And he makes noise every morning in my head. What I have to work with patience. If I see him in the elevator, what I say? Are you doing well with your rebuilding? Yeah. So how far is it going to take it? Because I want to. Yeah? So the idea is to be patient related to everything that's going to come to your life. Now, it's not easy. It's a proof. You're being tested all the time. You're going to be tested all the time in this life. So the idea is, how do you react to this? And the idea is, if you want to be happy, you have to learn how to be kind. You 
can be nervous to people. You can slam the door on people's faces. You can say go to hell to everybody. You can't just say motherfucker and go to your house. You're not gonna live alone, no. In the end of the life, you're gonna need people. You need neighbors. You need people around you. It's time for you to learn this in love or in hate. You're gonna learn this with love or suffering. Do you wanna suffer in order to change this? It's time to be kind, your mother already taught you. Next, strive for perfection. We have already told about perfectionist people that want to do the best and they lack, they don't have the energy to do that, so they become sad. The idea is not perfectionism, but the idea is to strive for perfection. Do your best. Because if you think too much in perfectionism, you become lazy. And that's the other part of it. I'm not going to be perfectionist. I'm just lazy. I don't do it. Ah, that's not the solution for perfectionism. You got to do your best, baby. You got to be perfect. You got to get up in the right time. You got to do what's necessary in that day. You got to check your agenda with the things you got to do. You got to do your obligations and then do your leisure activities. Lazer. The idea here is to have ordination the order in your agenda and you're going to strive for perfection in everything you do it can be a washing or a cooking or fucking you're gonna do something in a right way taking care of your kid driving anything that you do do your best in presence because that's gonna make you feel happy as well now if you're doing that just the way it is let it go let's see you're not going to be happy because you're not striving for your perfection. And you were born to be like that, okay? Next step is number 10. Life is just one minute in eternity, baby. So if you are suffering this moment, if you are in the middle of the tornado, if you're having a health problem, relationship problem, any kind of problem, don't worry because everything is going to pass. This too shall pass. Isso também vai passar. But in this moment, you have to pay attention. What's the lesson? What's the learning? Because just with suffering, we're going to evolve. And this suffering you're having here for two months or two years is just one second in eternity. We're talking about a parallel universe, of course. We don't have just this ball of planet here. We're talking about all the universe. And here, it's physical. I'm talking about spiritual. Spirit, if you don't know about this, it's time for you to study and learn a little bit about what's going to happen to you after you die. Don't you want to see that's just a minimum time here in Earth? And that's just one second in eternity. So this 100 years that you're living in this planet is just a strive in eternity. So I'm going to go down there, learn something with some problems. You promise this to yourself. And when you go back, you're going to return to your real house with no suffering and with love. Do you want a better planet? Start by yourself and strive for perfection together with this idea that life is just one second in eternity. Let's go to number 11. Watch your thoughts, baby. We have already talked about this. If you're not watching your thoughts, you're going to be an unhappy person, a demotivated person, a depressed person all the time because you're not paying attention. You just live life in automatic. You're like a robot. You got to start learning your thoughts. Wow, I'm thinking that's going to rain. No, it's going to be a sunny day. Wow, I'm thinking about that person in a negative way. Stop, cancel it and say this person is good. I don't know what she's good in it, but she can make a good coffee. Whatever, find something good in that person. Stop thinking bad things about people, okay? Now, the next step is, oh, I gotta do all this. No, I'm gonna do that and choose one of the things to start with. If you already know that you're a pessimist person, a negative person, fight for it and try to be positive, changing your thoughts just for your health, pela sua saúde. And if you don't love yourself enough to do this change, it better do for the ones you love because your husband, your father, your mother, your future crush or girlfriend or boyfriend or daughters and sons, they need a nice person to survive, yeah? To live together. And that's related to your personality. You have to change a little bit, don't you have? I did it myself. I still have to change so much in this life. I am looking for these things and I'm helping a lot of people that don't even know. And with English, you can practice this much more. Now, the last thought. We are all in a school here. I'm not just an English teacher. I can teach you many things that I learned. What can you teach to other people as well? Can you teach a person how to make a nice cupcake? Do you know how to teach a person how to drive? There's something in you in this moment that you know how to teach. 
Because once you learn, it's time for you to teach others. And this is time for you to discover missions in life. And that's a fucking orgasm when you're starting helping other people. Because this is all a school. You're going to learn from people and you're going to teach other people. And everybody's going to evolve together. Now, babe, if you didn't wake up for this yet, it's time for you to study a little bit more. Because this is the path. Now, you think it's other paths and it's not. And you're going to suffer a lot until you wake up. It's time for you and me to wake up for better evolution, to feel good and feel the real love that we don't even know what it is, but we are on the way to that. I need changes because I am in this planet and so do you. It's time for us to do our best, strive for perfection, make our best in all areas of life in order for me and you to be happy. I'll see you next class. Thank you very much for your watching. Take care. God bless you. Namaste. Bye-bye.